Hey everybody, Sean again here with 3G Society. Fourth video, man, I am on the top of the world today, y'all. I just don't know what's come over me. I just want to talk about Smash today, I guess. So let's talk about another leak and that 4chan uh, rumor going around with the whole list of seven different names and who they're hinting at, starting off with King and Ponytail. And I already made a video talking about who this King guy is, and you know him as King K. Rule. As a new DK rep, I think it's long been awaited, and we open our gates for him with open arms, and uh, I just think it's time. If you guys are King K. Rule fans, let me see you guys down below. Um, definitely like the video if you can. Um, if not, you don't have to, but King K. Rule, are you guys excited about him? I pretty, I'm pretty sure he won the Smash Ballot. Um, wasn't Bayonetta get out of here so King K rule yes he is in I'm pretty positive I can say 99% sure um, that's just me you know but who is this ponytail could we be seeing a second rep for the DK series join the fray and um, who is this likely ponytail person referring to is it the one and only Dixie Kong who knows who else wears ponytails in this Nintendo series and are there any third parties we should be worried about with the ponytail? Maybe Shantae? I don't think so. Maybe uh, Lynn? No, she's already been confirmed as an assist trophy, right? Um, Dixie Kong, because why not? And he wanted, Daddy Sakurai wanted her in Brawl, and we saw some, I think, remains of her inclusion in the game back in the data files if people were mining the game back then and they saw that Dixie Kong was planned to be put in there but never got her chance so will we be seeing her chance this time around in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate or will we not? Do we want four characters from the DK series? I think it's about time. I think DK, you know, he supports Nintendo strongly and uh, he's a competitor in the series and whatnot and I think Dixie Kong would be the perfect rep to be honest and like I had said in my King K. Rule video I play Donkey Kong Country 2 with Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong and they're saving Donkey Kong and man a lot of Kongs and uh, you know she wasn't ever in uh, Donkey Kong 64 and that's what I grew up playing and uh, they had Tiny of course, Lanky and Chunky, I don't think we'll be seeing any of those guys but Dixie as maybe her own fighter some people are speculating that she will be an echo character to Diddy Kong which I think might be nonsense because she does have her own moveset pool and whatnot so she could do a lot with her hair and um, I don't think people realize what she can do exactly she plays a lot like Shantae with when she whips it around she can grab things and fly in the air with her hair so I don't think she would mimic any of uh, Diddy Kong's moves um, except maybe for throwing bananas everywhere and stuff but um, that's just my thoughts on Dixie Kong and uh, King of course King K rule so I'm happy to see him of course and uh, I don't mind it if Daddy Sakurai wants to add two reps from the series that's how he did it with uh, Fire Emblem when he added Lucina and he tricked us out with the crumb thing I was upset and then Robin comes in and saves the day um, you know how to beat up Captain Falcon some but who knows I, I think it's time I think DK series needs to be more represented into Super Smash so I'm excited being Congo Jungles back one of my favorite stages since Melee uh, I'm just really happy to see this reincarnation of the stage and I can't wait to play more endless battles on it but it's gonna be a lot of fun let me know what you guys think on the ponytail and the king am I talking about these two same characters or what are you guys opinions on those two thoughts so uh leave your likes comments um concerns down below and if you haven't already super smash the like button please subscribe and maybe uh i'll do a couple more videos i got time before work so that's what i'm gonna do um and i'll see you on the next one deuces